The Nerdgasm Talk podcast is brought to you by Spaces Philly. If you love podcasts, go to spacesphilly.com where you can check out Lulu and Pop, Both Sides, Turntables, Jump Thought Super Tongue, and the Nerd Coalition's very own No Gimmicks Needed. Visit spacesphilly.com today. And now, feel the Nerdgasm. But yeah, that was the trailer. Next one, Army of the Dead. Now, I heard very little about this. I heard Zack Snyder was doing the project only because Dave Bautista loves Zack Snyder to the... He loves James Gunn and he loves Zack Snyder. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know what they did for him, but he is in love with them. So And he, and he just loves... Make it right with the world, bro. If you ever see that man's Twitter, I'm just like, oh man, I'm about to this war with every Republican because uh, <laughs> he don't give a Dave Bautista will start war with anyone. I remember it, he doesn't care if he's in a losing battle, he will start the war. I remember the whole Disney thing, you need y'all need me. I'm like, no, they Shit. don't, <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> Sir, I uh, no, I appreciate everyone that feels like, you know what, I'm the shit. You should feel like that. Everyone in the world should feel like that. But you should also know your battles and who you are facing. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I'm not going to lie. This trailer did interest me. As much as I am tired of the zombie genre, I'm mostly tired because I don't remember. I don't know. If, well, of course you remember that, like. I think it was like a five-year gap where everything was zombies and everything had to have zombies in it. Yes, I was World War sick Z of it. To Walking Dead. Yes. I was sick of it, and I was just like, "Yo, I'm done. I'm done." The only, the closest thing I had was Last of Us. I was like, "I'll play that," but after that, I'm done. I, I can't do zombies anymore. I am not a fan of the zombie genre. Period. Mm-hmm. <laughs> People know that about me. I am not a fan of zombie genre, period. But for some reason, this trailer did interest me. Right. It did. It did. And that's that's the weird thing. Like, I feel like if you go, you have to go a different direction with zombies for me to really get interested. However, this trailer didn't do anything different. Uh-huh. Which I'm I'm a little, like, taken back by, if I, if I can be honest. I'm a little taken yeah. back by that. Because I was just... It looks like a Suicide Squad versus zombies, really. <laughs> That's the best way I could describe this trailer. Um, of course, they had a tiger zombie. I mean, I've seen animal zombified, so it that didn't really do anything for me either. But uh-huh. the one thing that really kind of grabbed... I was... Okay, this kind of grabbed me. Zombies actually dipping and dodging. I was like, okay. This is more yeah, of a threat. These, these zombies are smart. And I'm just like, right. oh, God. You have z- smart zombies? That's a threat. <laughs> uh-huh. That's a threat. I don't care what anyone says. But, um, yeah, how did you... I know you have a reaction for the trailer. How did you feel about it? Like I said, I, I thought it was cool. I mean, my, uh, Mario Harvey got some got a job. So uh, Thank God, you know. Bit- I mean, I hope he doesn't make another speech. Yes, yeah, so, oh, well, you know, King Hardwick out here. So, but uh, <laughs> you know, I, I thought it was cool. I, I'm I'm really hype on Zack Snyder at the moment, mm-hmm. and I said I'm not in the Zion films for some reason. The Batista, Amara Hardwick, and, and the, the whole dynamic of the whole thing kind of like drew me in. And it's them being in Vegas, them being smart. I'm just like, well, God, how do we get through this? Right. But uh, now I I I I'm really interested and curious to see how this thing is going to go. To be completely honest with you, but uh, it got me, it got me I- interested to actually see, like, huh, I, I can turn my mind on, I can, get, I can actually give it a chance because I'm not a zombie movie guy, right, or zombie person. I'm sorry, because I'm also watching the trailer as we're talking. The more I'm looking at this, the more I'm like, this is literally Zack Snyder's Suicide Squad. Yeah, <laughs> to the logo of the movie, I'm like, that is the logo of the first Suicide Squad. He like I, I'm showing y'all I, I should be the Kevin Foggy in DC. I'm yeah. trying to show y'all. Okay, but I gotta say, once I saw Zack Snyder, I was like, how many times are we gonna see slow motion in this trailer? Thank God he didn't do it to the last second. <laughs> so yeah. I was like, okay, that's cool. But um, I mean, love is slow mo. Yeah, uh, May twenty first is when it comes out. I, yeah, like we said, hashtag give it a chance. I'm not gonna really. Um, the last Zack Snyder story I trusted was Sucker Punch. And I was not a fan of that whatsoever. 